Welcome, this is your energy vibration reading um, for um, the week, the second week of August. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's check out and see what's coming up in this week. So, Leah's happy birthday. Happy birthdays to all you Leah's out there. Or oh, having birthday from um, the 10th. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, um, it is going to be an amazing year for you guys. And it is good to order a, your own personalized year reading. So, first we're going to be looking at uh, um, the energy of uh, your year is going to be transition. So, whatever is happening... It is all about transition. So I see transition with relationship. People are in relationship. You could be meeting new love. Or you could be changing jobs. So, so it's a year of transition in um, all relationship that is going to be happening. So we're going to be first looking at the people who were born on the 10th. So what we're seeing here is that, um, that you are in limbo waiting for something it could have to do with work some information about work waiting in limbo with your business waiting in limbo with a project some of you are working on your relationship with your father or working on a relationship with your partner your husband a family member but i see that a whole lot of work is as if you guys are creating some form of challenges where you're changing so you're working all of these energies through in this year. Uh, so we have a sort of a seven month period, seeing each block as a seven month period. And then whenever you work it out, you're going to be coming back to where you started. So let's say that you started with the energy of debt. You're going to be working this period. You're going to be coming back here and you're going to be reworking until you finish the solar year so that is why it is a solar year what is good um for you guys is to hold a reading so that you can see what's coming up in love and marriage your 12th house that shows you a whole lot that is happening and transpiring so let's get this in this reading and see what is happening and transpiring so as again i said that the people were um on the energy of uh, the tent energy you're working um, uh, out a lot of situation with kids. Um, however, this is transpiring. There is no love that is coming at some of you. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo um, in relationships or a Virgo at the workplace. Uh, so people who are dealing with issues on the tent is going to be not so easy um, because it's like endings and new beginnings. It's as if the Omega is coming in and helping you to understand what is happening and transpiring in order to release you from just a whole lot of stuff that is happening. Um, as uh, we look at the energy, what is going to be coming out, you and the people who are working on the 11th energy is going to be dealing with intuition. So in this month, it is all about your intuition in this year. It's all about the intuition. It's all about working with intuition. It's all about being aware listening to your own intuition so you can work through this year. As we look at the people who were, and for you guys, you're going to be dealing with number 12, number three. Um, love is in the reverse, a seven, and you're dealing with a man, a businessman, um, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, these deceptiveness that has been creating um, what this man could have done, truths are coming out, and it could be a father figure, but it could also be um, someone who is coming up in a family or a boss, that sort of a thing. So be aware of these issues and situation that is going to be coming out. Then for the people who are born on the 11th, you have the energy of the eye princess, intuition. So a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of inner wisdom that is going to be coming in. A lot of ideas for work and this is going to be good. So if you are a creative person in this year, it is going to be really wonderful, really fantastic. Some of you could be dealing with some emotional situation that is happening and transpiring because there is a lot of problems um, that could be coming up with work or at work. So 
um, be aware of this. Um, there is positive emotions because it's as if your spirit guides is going to be watching over some of you and opening up new doors of opportunities for you guys when it comes on um, to your work and however you carry out your work. So I see openings, some of you are opening to learn new things in order to create wealth and stability in your world and this is going to be good. Just listen to your intuition because it's going to be taking you a really far way along and this is going to be good. As we move forward and we are seeing um, the and um, before we move forward, seven seems to be playing a very significant role in the lives of people. Seven is good. Seven is all about having um, and creating a um, situation in your life. And if you notice the energy of seven of pentacles, uh, um, so some of you are really going to be focusing on creating your own wealth and business um for yourself and in, in this year you're going to be focusing on working for yourself and this is going to be good we have two seven and eight and eight is significant because it's about the infinity abundance that you have in your life where you're going to be connecting in that way so use the number two seven and eight it is going to bring in a lot of you some success um in this year so if you're renting an, um, a business place or you're doing something, use um, two, seven and eight. That is going to bring you some sort of a luck in order to create some sort of a wealth in your world. As we move forward, we're looking at the people who were born on the 12th. You have the energy of the month, which is balance. So a lot of you need to balance out issues and situations. Some of you could be finding out that you have some form of health issues that is going to show up in this year. Some of you could be having surgery in this year. So be aware of this. Some of you are balancing out a whole lot of situation, seeing the truth about people and situation. Um, some of you, if you are dealing with a Libran, whatever is transpiring between you and this Libran, you're going to be finding out um, a whole lot of issues that, that have to do with a Libran. So be aware of this and be constructive when you decide to make some sort of a decision because I see that you're going to be finding out that a Libran has not been very honest um, to some of you and you're going to be um, realizing exactly that this, Leo, uh, this Libran has hold or take a whole lot of money that belongs to either you or your family member. I see secrets is going to be coming out about this Libran and how deceptive this Libran has been. And I see um, some of you are going to be trying to figure out and work and some of you could have legal issues, but health issues is definitely going to be coming up for some of you. You have the energy of number 14. 14 has the energy of changes, okay? So there is a lot of changes because some of you are going to be learning to deal with issues, um, where are some issues, seeing how to resolve issues and situation. This is going to be positive because you're creating some new form of balance in your world. So 14, 5, 4 and 2, 14, 5, 4 and 2. And if you notice whatever is transpiring, the energy of 2 seems to be very significant that is coming up. And especially you guys that was born on the 12th, there is really some issues and I see that you need to clear a karma and balance out a karma. Your spirit guides are going to be guiding you through this year. So we're moving on to the people who were born on the 13th. You have the energy of number 13. You have a double whammy. So, wow. Ladies and gentlemen. You are born on the 13th and you have the energy of the 13th, death and transition. Seeing the truth to a situation, seeing what has transpired, seeing the play that was created with a whole lot of money, this money is going to be returning to you guys. So this is what I've been teaching people and letting people understand that sometimes debt comes up. It is neat, real debt is just transition that you're moving forward transition because people are going to be finding out that a lot of you money was taken from some of you money um that was for some of you was not and and however this is some of you could have to be returning some money also so some of you could be receiving money some of you could be returning money you know who you are what you did 
so however the energy is playing out for you i see some of you um have to return some money there's a, a whole lot of conflicts that is going on with friends and family over some money in this year and there is going to be coming finally a transition that is going to be removing you out of this some of you are going to be gaining some form of financial stability and that is going to be wonderful especially um the people who were going on the 10th and the 11th i see you are going to be gaining some form of financial stability um and the people who were born um on the um 13 you might have to be paying back some money not all of you but i see you're going to be regaining financial stability so this is good your numbers is 13 you're 13 and and a lot of people think that 13 is um bad luck it no it's not number 13 is um the energy of transition where the angels is coming in so you have 13 and 13 is four you have four of pentacles so it's all about money um that you're going to be building back your financial stability and you're going to be handing this year with a whole lot of money okay so this is going to be very good so um a lot of people have hung ups on the number 13 but um actually you're getting some sort of uh um, unexplained um, balance that is going to be returning in your world and this is good so um 13 4 4 and 9 and this is going to be good this is a really standing up as financial stability as we move forward we are looking at the energy of the people who were born on the 14 14 and we have the energy of the lovers and this is a really positive um year because it is a year where some of you could be um meeting uh soulmates twin flame dealing with issues in your relationships uh, dealing with issues in your marriages uh, ending conflicts uh, with divorces and that sort of a thing and acquiring financial stability as you move forward so this is going to be absolutely, absolutely a fabulous year. If you notice the problems is going to be leaving your life, whatever issues and whatever situation, whatever problem that other people were creating is definitely going to be the conflicts and the competition is going to be over and that is going to be leaving your life. And I see truths is going to be coming out and this is going to be wonderful because a whole lot of information is going to be coming in. For people who have their business or have merged together with other people, I see a whole lot of wealth is going to be coming in, a whole lot of materialistic success, a whole lot of information, fast speed. This year is going to be going as a fast speed for you guys. All issues and, and situation that was blocking you as they come in your life, they're going to be just removed out of your life directly. And I see you're going to be having some sort of a stability some of you have who were having conflicts at work or with your business this is going to be over so wonderful alignment of energy and you guys are working with delight delightfulness so um before we move forward the people who are having birthday on um the 14 you have to be aware and realize what is happening and transpiring is a delightful year. It is a year where your spirit guides is going to be coming back and bringing like things and removing issues, situation out of your life, bringing back balance in your life, understanding where you are, what is transpiring and moving you in a very, very um, positive direction, moving you forward. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So this is so fantastic. This is good. These are about changes. These are about expecting um, significant changes to come in your life. And this is going to be good. So this um, delightfulness is going to be affecting the people who were born on the 12, 13 and 14. So as we move forward and look at the people who were born on um, um, the um, 15th, we see the energy of the emperor. So a lot of you are dealing with mother father issues, okay? So a whole lot of issues with your parents. Some of you could be thinking about just walking away from your wife if your wife is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. I see that they've come down on a, a woman, a, a Pisces woman, whoever this woman is, 
um this could be a mother figure for some of you or it could be a boss um but whatever that has been happening and transpiring and whoever has been creating some issues a lot of you are have to be dealing with some parental issues that is going to be cropping up and coming up where you need to heal the situation before you can move forward a lot of you are turning your backs um on um a lot of uh, um money that should have come to you and i would say um yeah it's not really turning your back is that you're the return the money because it wasn't yours and they're going to be finding out this and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring and i see a lot of you leos have to walk and leave some money um that you have taken and it was not um yours so there is a lot that is happening a lot that is transpiring a lot of you who are managers, I see some ending is going to be coming in to your um, contract. So if you are a manager and you were born on the 14, 15, a lot of you could be walking away from some sort of a contract deal that you had created. I see a situation is going to be ending. Marriage could be ending. Um, relationship could be ending. People are just turning their backs and walking away. And I see a whole lot of a new stand-up of creation that is going to be created. So I see especially people in power transition ending, relationships ending, and that sort of a thing could be coming in. It's not going to affect everyone. It depends on your frequency that you're going on. So you have to be aware of that. So we see four and eight as 12, and 12 is three. So use these number, four, eight, and 12. 12 is a three. Use these energies in this year because it's going to be bringing back some sort of a um, significant role. A lot of you um, are going to become mothers or grandmothers and grandfathers. Um, some of you are going to decide to end, uh, definitely are going to be deciding to end some sort of uh, um, issues that was there and was created. Um, realizing that a time is, has come for you to leave some sort of a situation, um, you know, give the children space and room to clear up their lives. And uh, um, that is going to be coming in. I see a tower moment is going to be coming down. If you were married to an uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, I see a tower moment coming down on this person. They're going to be finding out something that this person has done. And, and, and uh, a tower moment is coming down on this person whether it's a pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is they're seeing exactly what the play was so so we're letting go and moving forward remember your numbers as we look at the people who are born on the 16th there's really some messages that is coming in for you guys because a tower moment the tower is the 16 your birth is on the 16 but this tower moment is going to be good because it's uh removing the heartbreaks the pain the loss out of your world you're just picking up, uh, um, picking up uh, um, and moving forward. Um, some sort of a burden, some situation is now finally over. It is going to be removed out of your life because people are now seeing the truth of some false play or deceptive play that was going out. I see that some of you were heartbroken and some of you have lost a whole lot. But you need to realize that um, if you create some sort of a, a situation in your life where... Um, it's not yours and you try to take something that is not yours this is how the universe um um uh, let you people know and understand that uh, it creates uh, your karma directly okay so some of you have been dealing with some issues in the past and now this situation whatever the heart breaks and the losses let it go and pick up yourself move forward is a year where you're going to be releasing a lot of uh, um, situation that was transpiring in your life, especially when it comes to heartbreaks. So I see a tower moment is coming down for a Libra in your life, so be aware of this. And I see you're going to be picking up the pieces and moving forward and making sure that whatever and whoever this Libra is or was or whatever that has transpired, people are going to be finding out and understanding and you need to let go of the situation. Whatever is leaving your life, let it go. Because if you don't let go, you can't start anew, okay? Sometimes we hold on on things that is not really significant 
um, for us and we, we choose to hold on on certain things and we need to understand that um, we need to let go, let go, let go in orders that you can um, create better stability in your world. So um, it's, it's leaving your life. Um, there's no question about it. Let it go because it's time for it to be let go. So when we look at the V shape, and I love doing the V shape, um, some unexpected information is going to be coming out about a Libra and a whole lot of money. This Libra is very deceptive. Some of you, if you're having legal issues, you're going to have a big payout. I see they're finding out some um, situation where... Um, um, some of you are in conflicts with some money and um, um, trying to create some sort of a situation. So as if uh, um, I see uh, um, whoever is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion is going to be leaving some of you life. Um, there's going to be huge heartbreaks for this person leaving your life. Um, whatever the situation is, is um, that I see a cycle is over with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. So it could be a mom. So, um, people um, who were born under 16, yeah, the tower moment on the right part, number three and number 10. Tower moment on the right part, number three and number 10. Awareness is going to be the action that you need to take in this um, year, whatever is transpiring. Awareness is coming up for the people who were born on the 15th and the 16th. It's all about awareness. It's all about understanding. It's all about knowing and seeing and figuring out and understanding what has been happening and transpiring. And this is uh, going to be good. Awareness is the name of the game, the key of the game, because um, people are going to become more aware and enlightened of what is happening and transpiring around them. So this is a profound year of transition and it comes up with intuition, delightfulness and awareness. And um, this is going to play a, a lot of uh, significance uh, in your life because this is a cycle. This is the year cycle for you guys. And it's all about the intuition, the delightfulness of counting your blessing and understand what life is all about and be aware of the transition that is coming up and the transition that is about to come up on you in this year. So um, accept the energies, understand that life is full of surprises, but we can't change that. I see a lot of you could be creating your new wealth in this year, and this is going to be absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to leave a timestamp for you guys. Um, the timestamp is very good because what the timestamp does is that the timestamp uh, show up uh, um, where you are, what is going to be happening, what is going to be transpiring. So this is going to be good. I really do enjoy it. It is good to order a personalized reading um, because this personalized reading show you everything that is coming up in your 12 hours. And it is uh, very important because it shows you from uh, the day after your zodiac um, birthday till the next day. And this is a fantastic. Gotta go. Namaste.